Great Barrier Reef is one of the world's most unique and biologically diverse ecosystems. The reef is resilient, which means it has a natural ability to recover from environmental impacts, but it is increasingly under pressure. Climate change, coastal development, land-based runoff from agriculture, overfishing and illegal fishing, and marine debris are affecting the reef. Today we're focusing on the impacts of fishing. Fishing is important to coastal communities, for recreation and their livelihoods. The reef supports a range of recreational, commercial and charter fishing activities targeting fish, sharks, crabs and prawns. It's important that fishing is sustainable. Marine park zoning, like a town planning scheme, outlines what activities can occur in each location. There are also fisheries rules about fish sizes and when certain species can be taken. When we talk about the remaining impacts of fishing, we're talking about those things in the marine park that we still need to focus on when it comes to marine fishing activities. So that could be things like recreational fishers who aren't abiding by the zoning plan and they're being non-compliant going and fishing into green zones. What we need to do when we think about fishing is just make sure that it doesn't have long-term impacts on the fish stocks and the biodiversity of the marine park. So it's about making sure that we've got fish for the future, that we've got rules in place that allow fishing to be conducted sustainably. We've got good education messages out there. And it also means that we should be working in collaboration with commercial fishers to make sure they understand our needs and we understand theirs. So one of the zones that we have in the marine park are what we call green zones. They're a zone where you're allowed to enter to engage in activities like swimming and boating and snorkeling and diving but you're not allowed to engage in fishing or any form of extractive activity. Science has told us that they have bigger fish and that those fish in those areas are now producing young that go into other nearby zones that are open for fishing. They're an insurance policy to ensure the longevity of the marine park. Green zones are important to help restock areas that have been heavily affected by fishing so that fish stocks can replenish and to prevent overfishing so that there's a sustainable fish stock for future generations. Here are some tips for when you next go fishing. Help the reef to be as healthy as possible so it's more resilient to threats. Follow our hashtag love the reef principles. Pick up a zoning map before you go fishing. Keep an eye on your GPS and know where you can go and what you can do. Practice safe catch and release methods. If you're unsure of the fish identity or size, release the fish immediately. If you're keeping the fish, remove it from the hook or net immediately and kill it humanely. Return all undersized and unwanted fish quickly and carefully to minimize injury. Only take what you need. There's a future to feed. Clean up all fishing gear, such as discarded tackle and line and bait bags, and take it back to shore to dispose of it properly. Use our Eye on the Reef Sightings app and report any illegal activity. For more tips on responsible fishing practices, visit www.gbrmpa.gov.au.